What's up, guys? Good morning. Yeah, so uh, I am making this video just to help you out on, on, on how to create a online conference or maybe a video conference and then linking it to your, uh, and then creating a link and then attach it to your Google Classroom so that your students can see or can join in what by just posting it or as an announcement or maybe just a regular post on your class or GC, we call it. Okay, so first thing, just log into your Gmail account. If you see this waffle button, they call this waffle button. This, this are three, ah, nine dots. Just click it and then look for, you can scroll if you can see it in the, because I customize my, my Google Apps. You can drag it anywhere you want. It's like that. Me, I want it here. So that if ever I want to just uh, use it, I can just see it directly. So look for the meat. So meat, just look for the meat. You can scroll down if you can see it in the top. Just scroll down and look for it. Then once you locate it, just click Google Meet. There you go. Then next, uh, there's nothing much here. It'll just give you some information about your time and date. Then you have to click this one, join or start a meeting. Once you click it, give it a name, whatever you like. So just I'll just give it a name. English online class. All right. We continue. Wait for it. Camera. Uh, okay. There you go. So next, if you want to just explore something, uh, need some customization or for options. If you have other camera, maybe have a better camera in using the front camera of your laptop. Okay. You just have to switch that one. And there are other options here. Turn on captions. If you click that one, it will show the bunch of text there and what you're talking about. Just a subtitle. Okay. Then settings. If you want to set something else, your microphone, your speakers, by the way. So whatever you are using, use that one. For laptop, just use the default microphone built into your laptop. Okay. If you want to test it, you can see uh, this bar is changing every time I speak. So meaning my microphone is working. And for speakers, you, you want to click this one. It will show you, uh, it will just test. Let's just try. Give it a try. Then it's ringing. Okay. So I hear the ball, I hear the sound. Very good. And for the video, if you, that's what I was saying earlier. If you want your, if you want a high definition, if you have other options here, you can, it's up to you, actually. So there's nothing much here. Just click done if you're done setting up. Then there you go. Next thing is create the link. There are two options here. Is there? This one is percent and join. Join. So what you have to do is click join now. Just click it. So this is what I'm talking about. The link. This is the link that you need. So, oh, see that one? There's a subtitle. Every time I speak, there's a subtitle. What? What's wrong? Anyways, okay. <laughs> I'm just amazed with the subtitle appearing down there. Okay. Let me just try one thing. When I laugh, I'll just check if it will record my laugh. Ha ha ha! Oh, see? It's a laugh, not laugh. <laughs> so much for that. Okay, so guys, uh, this is the link, or you can just highlight that one, or you can just easily click this one. Copy joining info. Okay, it will just copy automatically to your, what do you call that? Uh, it will just copy, okay? Or if you want to add directly students, you can just, if you know their emails or accounts, just click add people and type their names. I can just add this email directly or I can do it by pasting the info into Classroom as an announcement or a post in your Classroom. So since we copied that one already, I'll just have to close this, okay? And then I will go to my classroom. So how? I just have to go back to Gmail, then click 
this waffle button again and look for the classroom map. And then we just have to click this one. By the way, guys, uh, this account that I am using, a sample of a teacher's account. Later on, we will switch to student account and show you if how will it look like on a student account. So here is the class. So I just have one student. I added one student just for a sample. Okay, so just click this class. And then remember, we copied that uh, information. By the way, uh, this two posts I created earlier. So we will not be using this one because this conference is already finished. Okay, so we are in the stream. You can use classwork if you want to post it in the classwork as an assignment. Probably if you want it, it's up to you. But for my, as my recommendation, just use a regular announcement. Okay, just click. Okay, okay. Remember, we copied that one already. You, you will just have to paste, right click, and paste. Or if you want something much cooler, you just have to highlight the link if you know the link. Yeah, of course, I know the link. So this is the link. I just have to right click, copy it again. And remember this button here, add. It will give you some options. If you click this one, you can choose Go Drive, Link, File, and YouTube. Since we have the link, this one, this link that we highlighted and copied, you just have to attach it here. Link, paste. It will give you another option. Just, just add link. Okay. Once you add, it will create a new just a uh, bar here, or maybe call this option here for students. Next, if you want to schedule or save it as a draft, since our meeting has already started, what we need to do is just post it so that your students can see or can view this post on their streamline immediately. Then click. Post. There you go. So we had a post and announcement that we had a meeting already. There's an ongoing conference already. Next, we are going to switch to a student account to check if how will this look like to a student. Philip here. So I will switch. Log into my account. Arabic, it's defaultly Arabic. But it will come as English once you log in. All right, then. Okay, the, your student can just click the message that he or she received. And then there is the link. These are the just options. They can just click the link or they can open this one. You click this. It will open the classroom. Then here is the link. Here is also the link. It's, there are two options here. It's up to them. Okay. If you want to use if they want to use this one, or you can also use this one. So I'll just click this one. It will it will redirect them to the meeting that you created. So make sure that you will uh, inform them that always allow meet that Google that com wants to use microphone as camera in order to for you guys to uh, communicate with each other or yeah I'll show you something just let them click allow okay then so there you go there you go here you go just let them just click join now so this is the student view if your students want to mute their microphone they'll just have to do it here Let's just switch back to the teacher's account, okay? This is the teacher's view. Okay, I think that's all for now. But wait, uh, one more thing. If you guys have something, so a file or presentation or anything, uh, something that you want to show to your students, just click present now. Two options here. You can just show show your entire screen or a window. For example, I have a Microsoft presentation. You can just first open the app or open your presentation first. Okay, there. Okay, so let's go back here and then 
100% now. Click on a window. It will show you a bunch of applications that is currently open in your computer. So I have it here. This one is documents. Settings is open. So since we are going to use this PowerPoint, just have you just have to select that one, then share. So you are sharing this now to your students. Okay. But if you select that application, see, you're presenting to everyone. Click here to return to the video call when you're ready to stop presenting. So when you're done presenting, just click there. That's what it's saying. Okay, your student can see this one. Uh, let's check. Okay, see? This is the field of view of the your of your student. This is this is what they're seeing right now. Okay, I hope I am making some sense. I am making sense. Let's go back to the teacher second. This is the student's account, okay? This is what they are seeing. Since we this oh, this the yeah, this is the teacher's account. Since we are opening that one. So if you want to go back to your video, you'll just have to stop sharing. Click this one, okay? Remember, this is the student's account. This is what the students can see on their screens. As long as you are not clicking this one, stop sharing, they can only see the Microsoft presentation. For example, I will stop sharing, click. Look at this one, okay. This is the student's account. It will switch back to your video. Okay, I hope I am making sense. There's anything else I can help you guys. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys. Everything else. Okay, bye for now. Just leave me a message if there's anything you would like to know. Sure, I can help.